investment promotion and business linkages. There's a National Competitiveness Council and the Gripe also project sponsored by Brusak. We launched the AGI energy sector in support of GIZ to provide independent advisory services on renewable energy and energy, energy sufficiency for businesses. But most of our members are not taking advantage of it. The National Council, Competitiveness Council seeks to build a structured public-private dialogue mechanism that will help us to have continuous dialogue with the government of the day in promoting private sector development. Last but not least, the EU-funded project that seeks for, to offer technical support of investment is also in place to promote export and business linkages with AGI members. The support for AGI business women. To give more support and prominence to our women in business, we also launched the AGI Women in Business Group, and the launch was performed by the First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, Her Excellency Mrs. Rebecca Akufuado. This group seeks to serve as a platform for our women entrepreneurs to engage and other stakeholders and advocate for policies to promote businesses among our women and we are in full support to ensure that our women stand on their feet. The AGI building at the Trade Fair Center, the Addison House, in relation to the redevelopment of the Trade Fair. Distinguished members, I know most of you have been a great concern with the development of the Trade Fair Center regarding the fate of the AGI building at the center. My office and my phone has been ringing. Our office has been bombarded with a lot of questions and agitations from members since the planned demolition of redevelopment of the Trade Fair Center came to light. I can really appreciate your concern and thank you for the support that you've given to the executive so far in us finding a new way of solving this. I can appreciate your concern because the building that took several years to build with our AGI subscription income and the emotional attach all of us have towards the AGI building in terms of this construction, we all are equally concerned, but we acknowledge the need to redevelop the Trade Fair Center to make it a modern facility that will befit Ghana. We are not standing in the way for this project to come, but in the wake of all these developments, we petitioned to the President of the Republic of Ghana to intervene and ensure that AGI's interest is adequately taken care of. And I'm happy to report to you this morning that His Excellency quickly set up an interministerial committee to discuss our concerns on this matter and therefore set up this committee and we are happy to tell you this morning that this committee is made up, including and is chaired by Honorable Minister of Trade and Industry, and the membership include our own Minister of Finance, and others have been involved. A lot have gone on. Indeed, this committee duly acknowledged the history and the role AGI played in the establishment of the Trade Fair Center. And the fact that the government considers AGI as an important strategic partner, for which reason there's a clear assurance that our interests will be taken care of. Discussions are already going on with the board of the Trade Fair Center to finalize the arrangements and I'll report to you in due course. We will communicate back the outcomes and we know that we will good hands and things will work well because AGI and Trade Fair are symbiotic or work hand in hand. Let me take this opportunity to thank the sister private sector organizations who have called us to express their solidarity behind us of this crucial matter. And we are sure to also give them the update on what happens. AGI international relations with external business councils. In line with our international relations strategy, we as to explore foreign businesses and forge partnerships. We continue to play host to a number of business delegations that visit Ghana and also the linkages that created for me the opportunity to stand on behalf of you to speak to other countries' business partners about what AGI is doing. To our surprise and discouragement, 
when companies come down to Ghana to look for partnerships, we don't have data on our members. To tell them somebody want a partner in a great sector, I don't know the companies to call in that sector. Please, let us make this a great effort. You want a partner, you want to grow, but the information about you to grow is not available. How do we help you? It is time for us to build regional partners among the ECOWAS region. Whether we like it or not, like I talk about CFTA, the 300 million in the ECOWAS region, we did not take advantage. Now it's becoming 1.3 billion people for you. So for you and I to survive, these partnerships need to work. A husband and wife will not work if they do not agree. We need data on your company. So when somebody calls on me, I need to find a construction partner or energy partner, I can say, Reroy is an, an electric house. Go to them. I don't know anything about your company. How do we sell your company? It is time to share information. It's not about paying tax. It is selling your company so that we can promote you. There is also something I need to bring to my end. I need to mention to you this upcoming intra-African trade fair in Kigali, Rwanda. This trade fair is coming on between 1st and 7th September 2020, and it is dubbed Transforming Africa. Come and see. And I'm inviting all captains of industry who are here today to please make your products available. I have been co-opted as member of the committee planning for this trade fair. And I want to see Ghanaian companies and our products to be exhibited so that they can see what is available in Ghana. In conclusion, I also would like to thank my team of executives who have helped me in the past two years and our National Council for the closest dedication and support they've given to me and our past presidents. Sometimes when I speak so boldly, they call me and say, y'all, slow down. <laughs> I also want to thank my great chief executive of AGI, Mr. Seth Chuma Kwabua, and his team for the great work they're doing. I want to thank my regional chairpersons. Volta Region, I can't thank you enough. Dela, we really appreciate what you're doing, and we know that great things will happen in the Volta Region. Our mother, the great Jamfua of Bronha for in Ashanti region, we thank you for the great work and we know you continue. I wish all the chairpersons, if I really mention your name, I know what you are doing, but we cannot achieve this without helping each one another. When we meet as this, it's like at a funeral. We say hello, hello, and help each one another. But when we move from here, Call them and ask them to help. It doesn't come. That does not make us AGI family. The time is now. Can we come together and make AGI the strongest voice as we claim to be, to speak that we are the private sector and we will work with Honorable Kenoforeta and the government of Ghana, Nana Adudanko Kufuado, to move Ghana forward. Even under CFTA, we will make ourselves known. Thank you very much. television.